Hey everybody, I'm um, doing a quick review here on the HTC One um, for some of the apps that I really like. Um, you know, this is stuff that I can't really go without. Uh, it's my day to day stuff that I use. Um, it's just been really helpful, and I would share it with all of you. If there's stuff that you guys think is really good to have on your phone, let me know. So, yeah, let's just dive into it. So I've grouped mine into four um, grid here, like a grid of four. You can change that here in the menu settings. So grid size, change it up, whatever. I'm sure a lot of people know this. I, some of my basic, but uh, anyways, I'm here to demo the applications. So um, quick thing, calculator. I hate calculators that don't come with the percentage thing. That's huge. Why would you not like simple stupid thing? Just put it on there and let it go. All right. That's it. yeah. So this was Mobi calculator, M O B I. Um really good one. All right. Um let's go with uh Timerific. That's a really really good app to have for any user, I think. Um I hope it's available for all, all platforms, but if not, definitely look for it. Even change your phone to have that. And what it does is basically allow you to schedule your um, Wi-Fi and, and all these things to turn on volumes, especially um, on and off during certain times of the day, the week. Um, so yeah, you can have your notification system, ringtone, media, system volume, Wi-Fi, brightness, Bluetooth, voice call, airplane mode, and vibration, all these on and off different times of the day. Definitely recommended, okay? Definitely. All right, another really, really good one. If you're... Um, phone doesn't come with one is ES File Explorer and this is kind of like the file browser you know Windows to whatever uh, you want to call it um, it you know what I don't think I could even go with it without this and you know it goes into my uh, like LAN and you know cloud and whatever right I, I can put anything I want there so really really good for trying to make sure that you know you know where your files are and if you want to put certain things in on your phone all right, so another goodie. One of the really, really nice features is the TV remote. Um, this, like, I love it because it even shows you uh, what things are playing uh, right now on different, and you can just basically click them to switch to these channels. Um, this week, today, in my videos, whatever, right? So this this is plenty of good stuff, all right? Um, and then, yeah, again, you can go to your remote control app. That's what it looks like. Um, yeah. Okay, so let me talk about a really another really good app that you should have on your phone, and that is SMS Plus Backup. So what this does is basically backup all your um, SMS, and, and you can even have it to schedule um, auto backups for everything. Um, so it's SMS and call log into Gmail. If, especially, if, I mean, you have you use Gmail obviously when you have an Android. So this is a really good one to have. Um, you know, it just does everything for you. It doesn't really take much of your battery or anything, and it just it works really well definitely must have on your phone um, one thing that you should do is maybe turn off auto upload if you don't have a data a good data plan because when it, it's gonna keep uploading all the pictures and videos and you know you end up with a whole bunch of charges on your um, bill for the month all right so just make sure you do that and especially like under Google um, instant upload and on this phone there is a HTC um, Dropbox application that does that as well so make sure you do that um, if you're wondering about uh, my um, wallpaper, uh, actually, let me just show you that um, after I show you this one more thing. So power toggles is a really good one to have as well. And that allows me to have this. Um, let me just swipe through to remove my notifications here. Um, so these toggles right here up in the up top, by default, HTC didn't bring these. And I mean, I don't know why this was this was, I guess, one of those things that bothered me. Just, just add these things, you know, it's, it's good to have. A lot of phones have it, why why not this? But good thing is there's apps to do that. So uh, again, power toggles allows you to do this, um, which basically looks like that, and let's customize it. So I can assign any of these icons and, and you know, move their spots. Um, you know, you can change whatever you want up there. So I have it to have my flash, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all these things. Um, I do have it set to to have a second row as well and I'm not sure why it, it worked once for me a few days ago other than that it didn't work um, so that's one thing I don't know why it's not working but it's a free app you know can't go wrong with it really really good to have 
um, powered toggles. And I probably have all these descriptions and names in the uh, video description below, so check for that. Um, again, so let's go to, oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention is that it shows the battery percent up in the corner there. So right now I have like 43% because this battery thing doesn't actually show um, the percentage. And I'd like to have that personally on my phone. Um, all right, so uh, yeah, let me show you um, some of the other goodies. So the background um, that you probably are wondering about is called Tornado 3D. Um, and uh, it's, it's just a really nice app. Um, I think it's it's wonderful and the guys did a really good job um, it's by uh, Max Maxilius Maxilus dot net um, and they have some really good ones I, I personally like this you can customize it and whatnot and you know here's a few more uh, some of them that stock that come with the, f the phone and some that you can custom and, and yeah whatever so if you're wondering about that that's what it is um, a really really good tool that HTC brought and that really helped me transfer my stuff over from my last phone is the transfer content uh, app it allows me to download one to my uh, phone other phone and transfer everything like actually everything so definitely really nice uh, job with that app um, I know it's not one of the top apps that I'm trying to show here but um, yeah just another really good one uh, another one to use is hand sent SMS um, I think there may be Go SMS that I could do the same thing that I, I want to show you here. And basically, what it is um, scheduled SMS messages. Love that feature. It's one of those things where schedule my messages at night for tomorrow morning so I don't forget them. And, uh, you know, it just people reply back to me all the time. It's, it's a wonderful feature. So that's really like the only reason I actually have that app. Other than that, the stock messaging thing does very well. Um, and if you're into talking to international people, you know, cousins, whatever you have over in other countries, WhatsApp is for you. Um, those are definitely, uh, I think this one even came with the phone. Uh, or some phones do, do come with it. Actually, maybe not this one. Um, but yeah, um, those are definitely some of the really good apps that I recommend to have on your phone. Um, if you don't use Chrome, start using it now because it's the best browser ie sucked for a long time it was sort of good um but most of the time it sucked and uh you know like this is going back to ie6 and even before firefox did well for a couple of years i'm a developer so i, I do use these things um here goes my um notification but yeah firefox was good for a bit but it started to suck and suck and now i can't even turn it on it just freezes so especially on your phone, Firefox, or sorry, Chrome, works excellent. It remembers all my ta tabs from home, and uh, it just does really well. Uh, I don't think I could go even without Chrome anymore. Okay, so uh, another really good good app to have if you're into editing photos and whatnot, um, I have a, a few that, that I use. Little Photo and Pixlr Express are definitely my favorite, and um, they're, I use them for different reasons. Little Photo, has a bit more effects. Well, maybe not now, um, but they, I like their effects. Um, they're just sometimes easier to apply and whatnot, but I think Pixlr Express is definitely uh, better and I'll just show you the interface quickly. So yeah, free app, really great. I think it's even better than the Photoshop Touch um, by far. It has more effects and just plenty of things you could do, like a lot of things that actually you could do with it that I'm just surprised how powerful the, this app is navigation on this phone uh, again this is not really new or anything but I mean Google Maps is the best maps uh, system out there um, I don't know if it's a system but anyway so Google Maps must have uh, or must be used if you're not using it if you're planning to use any other GPS just don't you have this use it it's really good as long as you have data especially uh, if you don't maybe that's something else but just I mean Apple Maps who why are you even reinventing the wheel like who said we want these just use Google Maps it works well just do it okay don't use Apple Maps it sucks I like some of the things that Apple throws their design is excellent and their marketing is definitely better than everybody else's I think 
um, but their products not always the best and I switched from iPhone because of iTunes not because of the phone just because of iTunes um, and again 80% of it why I, I switched was iTunes so since I've had Android I'll probably never go back um, and it's one of those things that you know what I'm happy with this I don't see a reason that I want to go back um, and the Android is coming up with all these new features and, and I mean l look at this like uh, let me just show you what this if you've never seen these uh, animations for the map um, for the weather just just have a l quick look and, and look at these if, if you tell me these don't look good I really don't know like what's wrong with you like what is wrong with you look at this isn't that just beautiful I'm just showing you quickly the demo of the map uh, map weather apps and uh, yeah I don't think you could go wrong this phone has plenty of good stuff um, and there you go it looks like Windows now hey, hey. all right so anyway th this is quickly some of the apps that I like on the phone um, and definitely recommend this HTC one one other feature I wanted to show you is the keyboard um, voice search and maybe just a, a quick YouTube video so if, um, if we open up YouTube um, basically you can use the swipe and that's one thing I really really like about this phone so it, and it gets it right like pretty much all the time I think uh, and I'm searching with even different languages right and it works very very wonderful so quick search there and boom um, let's do a voice search so Michael Jackson no delay almost like almost instant and that's what I love about it so here's a quick video um, just to show you the quality of the video itself this is HQ YouTube all right and if you don't think this looks good then really um, you might not be seeing it like I am here um, definitely all together it's just awesome and the sound is just unbelievable all right so that was my review on the good apps top apps whatever you want to call them on HTC one um, if you liked it uh, please subscribe and uh, there's gonna be some more good videos if I missed anything let me know if I made any mistakes on something that you think you could correct me on just comment below and uh, you know everybody can uh, you know use that information and I guess we'll see you next time